Welcome back to the Tumor Ablation Probe Console tutorial. And in this, in this section, we are going to create the geometry for the model because you need a model for any of your physics or anything to work. So what we're going to start off with is we're going to make sure we have the right units. Uh, we want centimeters. Uh, you could technically do millimeters or anything, but uh, it's and most of these are going to be in the centimeter scale, so that's going to be the easiest way. So you go up to the ribbon and go to geometry. And first things first, we want a tumor, so we're going to want to insert a circle. You uh, go over to the graphics window and click and make a circle of any size. It really doesn't matter what size because we're about to change it. Uh, name it whatever you want. And we want a radius of 2.5 five centimeters. So it's gonna have a diameter of five centimeters. And we want it to go all the way around. And we want this uh, center here to be at zero, zero. Uh, so we build this object and you see that the window is too zoomed in, so you go up to zoom extents, and you can you can do several other ways of zooming. This is a zoom selection. You can just plus and minus, but to go to zoom to your entire model, I find the easiest way is to go to zoom extents. Um, also, if you wanted, let's say, a semicircle, all you would have to do is hit uh, is make it 180 or if you wanted a quarter circle uh, but we don't want any of those things we want a full circle another thing of note when you're building objects you want to typically build all objects if you want to build everything in your model so uh, it doesn't hurt to just hit that after every uh, click build all objects after every time you make an object. And if you only want to build uh, an object up to the selected object that you have, let's say you have seven, seven geometries and you only want to build up to the fifth one, you, you're going to hit build selected. And I can, I can show you that later. But okay, so we have our tumor. That was simple. And what we want to do is make a uh, make our insulated shaft for the probe. Um. So. So let's name it. And uh, these are just the uh, parameters that I have. Uh, obviously, if you wanted a larger probe or longer probe or anything like that, you could change these. But for this this model, we're going to use these parameters. Um, and we want it to start at one and negative 0 0.075. Okay, so the reason why I chose um, x to be one and y to be 7.75 is because we want the center of the probe to be roughly in the center of the tumor. Um, and it's easier to deal with uh, y being at uh, negative 0 0.075. That way, the center of this object is at 0. You could also make this into the center and put y at, at 0 and then put x. x. I don't know where you'd put x. X, but I mean it's easy to figure out but it's also um, I find it easier this way so we build it and now we have an insulated shaft um, really simple uh, okay so now what we want is our probe so we want it to we want it the same height which means we want it 0.75. And since it's going to start here in the bottom left corner and it's two centimeters long, we want it to start at negative one. 
so that it is two centimeters long and reaches and touches the insulated shaft. So um, that's this fairly simple. You have your shaft and now you have part of your probe. The problem is that this probe has a blunt end, which is going to be very painful if you um, use it to stab into a person. So what we want is to make a pointed tip so that it's more needle-like. So you're gonna go up here to primitives and go to Bezier polygon. Uh, and probe tip. You can name it whatever you want. So we're going to add two segments. And what it's going to do is you're going to make these two segments and it's just going to connect them to a, thir uh, to a third segment and form a triangle. And we want that triangle at the tip of this probe. So um, What we want to do is have this. Okay, so this first segment is going to be at negative one, negative one, so that it's in line with the tip. And we want this to be 0 0.075 here, negative 0 0.075. Uh, let me check and make sure that's correct. Yes, that is correct. Correct. So that's our first. Uh, that's our first segment. So our second segment is at maybe um, one point two. Actually, let's make the top one negative 1.2. Or the top one negative 1 and the bottom one negative 1.2. 1 so that's consistent with what I have here. Um, negative 0 0.075 and 0. So, yep, that's what we want. So just make sure, don't hit this closed curve button as tempting as it may be, because it will change all these values. So it filled all, and now we have a, now we have a probe. So um, now we have our tumor, an insulated shaft, a probe, and the tip. But as you can see, um, our probe and tip are two separate entities, and we don't want that. We want them to be one entity. So we're going to uh, join them with a union. Um, you, can, you can make that say whatever you want. And it's fairly straightforward. Uh, input objects, and you just click on the two objects that you need, uh, and they will light up blue. And what you want to do is not keep the input objects and also not keep interior boundaries so that it's one singular uh, geometry. So once you do that, build all, and there it is. That is, you know, a very simple geometry. And you have your tumor, you have your insulated shaft, and now you have your probe. So now you are ready to add your materials and such, and then your physics and so on and so forth. But we will cover that in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching.